Hey what is up guys this is Shukesh once again and well today I'm gonna show you 30 plus hidden tips and tricks on this amazing Samsung Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge that you might not know about. I'm not gonna bore you with the basic features like always on display, the edge screen features etc. Let me show off some amazing software tricks that will blow your mind. You have basically no idea how smart this Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge can be. So enough with the talking now let's get started. Now if you notice carefully you can see there is no app store here because all the applications are on the home screen and yes it's just like iOS. So if you are coming from that platform then you will find this new interface much familiar. Now how to enable this well hit the settings menu and under advanced features you will find galaxy labs and you need to enable the first option here. It's an experimental feature and you might get this by default on your future Samsung phones. Now if we go back there is another very very handy option called quick dial that is just press and hold the home button and say Robin and the device will make a call to Robin right away. Calling is the sole purpose of a phone and a shortcut like this makes sense. I think Samsung should really keep it and uh, yeah you lose access to Google now this way but who cares. You got a big widget for that on the home screen and you can activate that by voice commands as well. Now the next trick is you can enable this phone to auto factory reset when someone puts 15 consecutive incorrect passwords. Well I'll show you how to enable that feature in a minute. Let me tell you another one. You can prevent the screen from turning on accidentally when the device is in a dark place such as a pocket or bag. So no more pocket dialing and uh, there is actually another feature I have found quite interesting. When your phone is resting on the table and you want to quickly check your notifications just swipe your hand over the top part of the display. That is over the sensors at the top. It's such a nice feature and it's called easy turn on. There is also another trick I want to share with you guys. Just with a triple tap on the home button you can switch to grayscale and this not only saves battery it also enhances your reading experience on the browser, ebook etc. So another very nice feature you should check. Now hit the settings menu and scroll all the way to accessibility. Then direct access. Enable this feature and select grayscale. If you need any of these other options here like magnifier window, voice assistant etc then you need to enable them as well. Next we have dexterity and interaction. Is this screen turn on? Enable this as well if you wish. Now we have the display settings here and scroll down to enable the feature keep screen turned off. Next hit the lock screen and security settings, secure lock settings and auto factory reset. You know what it does so let's move on. So far I've shown you only 5 tricks and there are at least 25 more to go so be with me guys. Suppose you are in danger like lost in the woods or stuck in the canyon then if you have your S7 or S7 Edge with you then press and hold the power key and click on this emergency mode. The display will now go grayscale with very less brightness to save maximum amount of battery and you also have some vital options like an emergency alarm, a torch and you can also call share your location and make an emergency call as well that is 911 if you are in US, 100 for India etc. There is an empty space as well and you can add a social app here. Now there can be an another situation like you are getting mugged or being attacked by a bear then just triple tap the power key and an SOS message will be sent to your near and dear ones with your location and an audio recording of the surroundings will be attached as well so that your friends and family can guess what is happening here. As you can see the SOS message is being sent and for the audio file the phone uses MMS. Let me show you the message. There is the format very simple with Google Maps location and the audio file is of 5 seconds. This SOS message option is not on by default so hit the settings menu first and scroll down to privacy and safety. Send SOS message. You can also disable audio and add your emergency contacts here. Now there can be a third situation like you are hit by a bus and not in a position to use your phone then other people can help you by calling your friends or family from your phone. But what if your phone is password locked? Then they need to click on emergency call and they'll find your emergency contact numbers you have added. 
This is how this phone can make a call even when it's password locked. With this option you can access to the whole emergency contact list and this one brings some crucial medical information about the owner. Like I have added my blood type here. Now let me show you how to add your emergency contacts and the medical information etc. First open the contacts menu and select your profile. Then click on edit and scroll down to emergency medical info. These are the fields you have. You can enter any medical condition, any allergies, the current medication, blood type and any other emergency information here. This might be quite helpful for elderly people as well. To add the emergency numbers you have to click on group and I see that is emergency contacts. Then edit, add member, then select the contact you want to add, done. You can add as many members as you wish. Well this was the trick number 8 and I really hope that you are liking this video. If so then please consider giving this video a thumbs up. Next I have for you a very interesting feature. It's called enhanced messaging. Just go to messaging settings and switch on this feature. Now with this you can chat with other enhanced messaging users via one to one or group chat messages and the interesting part is you can share images and videos in their original resolution unlike WhatsApp. So consider using this feature if your friends are Samsung users. Now suppose you need to send a file to someone and you need to either use costly MMS or you can send to their email, Facebook or WhatsApp account. But what if you don't have their account details and you really don't want to spend more using MMS especially for large files, then just use Samsung Simple Sharing. The file will be uploaded into Samsung server and you will be sending the link to that file to the contact number you have using simple text messaging. The receiver need not to have a Samsung even an Android device to open the file. iPhones and Windows phones can also open and download it. Even if they don't have a smartphone they can use any computer. So such a nice feature guys. Worth mentioning here the file will be available on the Samsung server for 24 hours and to open the file a password will be needed which is basically the last 4 digits of the receiving phone number. You also need to know you might have to create or sign in to your Samsung account to use these features. For the next trick let's visit the accessibility settings, vision, then voice level. Well it's one of the most innovative features on this device. With this you can write voice recordings to NFC tags to provide information about nearby objects. First record your voice then hold the back of your phone over the voice level. So it's a very cool feature and especially very handy for people with vision problems. Now the next trick I'm gonna show you is on the browser. This is our official site gadgetsportal.in. Let's select a word by pressing and holding and you got lots of options including this dictionary and if you tap on this you'll get a pop-up window with translation to lots of languages you have downloaded. I will show you the downloading procedure in a minute. You can select any specific language and the full dictionary app can be opened as well by clicking here. If you are not satisfied with this you can do a web search and to download the dictionaries you want click on manage dictionary and these are the ones I have downloaded. Translation to almost all the languages are available. So another very nice feature you should check on this Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge. Now suppose you want to translate a whole paragraph for example if I select this paragraph here and click on more then I'll get this translate option as well which is an add-on application I have downloaded from the Galaxy App Store. If you don't find this option then hold on I'll show you that after this. I can make the phone read out the translation. You can of course copy this translated text and uh, this S translator application is one of the must have apps for this S7. In fact I'll make a video very soon showing you some awesome apps like this. So keep in touch and don't forget to subscribe. You can open the Galaxy Essentials widget from the home screen and there are many more here you can try. Alternatively the app can be downloaded from the Galaxy App Store. So this was the trick number 25. Well, just kidding, this is the 13th trick. 
now the thing is this is a dual sim device and uh, the settings menu you will find sim card manager and also dual sim always on that is you can receive calls from both the sim cards even during calls previously this was called smart dual sim function next if you are a music lover then there is a very nice tip i have for you just check sound and vibration sound quality and effects then scroll down to adapt sound to show you what it does let's attach the earphone well different people have different hearing capabilities and the headphones are also of different qualities so this feature fine tunes the sound and brings the best quality music for your ears for the calibration you need to listen to some beeps and tell whether you can hear them or not now select your preferred ear for calls and I'm telling you guys just do this calibration once and your music experience will improve dramatically. Now there is an excellent battery saving trick I'm going to show you guys. Just hit the battery settings and enable app power saving to save battery power. In this mode the apps that have not been used for more than 3 days will be set to save power and their notifications might get disabled as well. You can individually set app power saving feature for all the applications here. Next, I want to talk about the mirror link feature that is you can mirror your device's screen to your car's display via a USB cable and you need to also download some compatible applications. As you can see, I have downloaded this car mode and it's available on the Galaxy App Store. This is just the perfect app for this purpose. Let me give you a demo. First of all, you can make a call using Who voice like commands. Robin. Robin mobile. So there is no need to handle the phone to make a call. You can also use voice to text to write a message and track your location, find your car, etc. You can make the whole process touchless. Just enable wake up command that is the command you have set for the S voice. Now as you know you can take a screenshot by swiping your hand on the screen. If you want to capture the whole website then click on capture more. You can do that as many times as you wish. Now after pressing the back button, the screenshot has been saved. You can access that from the gallery here. There you go, the whole website has been captured. Well the next trick I'm gonna show you guys is slightly different and very very interesting. In the accessibility settings you will find universal switch and with this you can control the device like pull down the notification center, increase or decrease the volume, go to home screen or back etc. By some gestures like moving your head left or right, opening your mouth or a half second blink. Sounds quite sci-fi but this works most of the time and these gestures are called switches. You need to assign their task. So this is such an awesome feature to show off to your friends. Now just below universal switch you get assistant menu which is basically a floating icon and by tapping this you get your frequently used options and settings. For example if you are in home screen you are getting these options and it's also contextual that is if you are in the browser the shortcuts actually changes. So for this huge display this assistant menu is quite helpful sometimes. Here in the camera you are getting the switch camera gallery etc. There are also other options like you can get a cursor here and you can even magnify the things you are pointing. Well with the always on display on you are actually not getting this feature right now. There are other options like you can also magnify the whole display. Looks like you need to disable the always on feature to get the full functionality. This always on is a great new feature on this Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge. But as I mentioned before I am not gonna talk about that because this episode is for hidden tricks and I have actually a video series coming up with total 5 episodes showing off all the features on this Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge. Of course the advanced ones and if you are not still subscribed to this channel then do subscribe now. You will definitely find those videos very handy and interesting. Now if you have kids or you are just lending this phone to your friends then you can enable this kids mode and place it here. This basically locks the phone with a password and the home capacitive keys don't work. 
you can allow some applications for the kids like some games and the camera the dialer with the contacts you have selected and there is even a kid store with some very entertaining and educational apps with these applications you can keep your kids busy and i do recommend you to download this app from the galaxy app store now the new Samsung Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge feature a new option called Game Launcher. If you have a gaming channel on YouTube then this is the perfect app for you or you can just use it to record your gaming. Let me show you what it does actually. First of all you get all of your games listed here and you can also add unlisted games if there is any and you can even practically control the power uses during gaming. Suppose you are in the climax of a game and your power is running out then you can actually use save power or save maximum power options just by compromising the resolution and the frame rate. Another very handy option is no alerts during gaming so not only the alerts will be muted they will be hidden and only incoming calls will be displayed on the screen. Next you have the game tools which is basically an on screen icon during gameplay which you can switch off from here. I will show you what it does later. Just let me give you a hint you can record your gameplay with live commentary and even record yourself with the front camera so how cool is that. This is where you can watch related YouTube game videos based on your installed games and also the popular game videos on YouTube. You can also check out top charts by number of players, games ranked by the most users per day and also new games by number of players by playtime games ranked by the longest playing times and also new games in this department. So this is how you get to know the trending popular games. Now let's play this Gangster Vegas and check what game tools do. There you go I'm playing the game and here at the left corner as you can see the game tools is actually hidden and if you click here it expands with lots of options and I've already shown you no alerts during gaming. Now those who follow this channel know that I always complain about this capacitive keys here. There is a good chance you'll accidentally touch this and really big thanks to the guy who have given this option to lock this recent and back keys. The game can be minimized anytime and you can take a screenshot of your score or any special moment on the game and next you have the record button. Now before I show you the recording option, let me show you what are the things you can do here. First of all, you can set a profile picture and set the size. If you wish, you can also record yourself live with the front camera and that will be embedded into the game itself. Using the microphone, you can also record your voice that is do live commentary. So looks like this is the perfect tool for your gaming channel. Up to full HD videos can be recorded and the video bitrate can be set as well to save space. So it's a complete package, everything you need is here and I will now try to record the game and check the video quality. Let's start the recording and try to beat someone up. This is where your profile picture or front camera feed shows. The game I'm playing is Gangster Vegas which is a great game, you should definitely give it a try and I have actually another channel called Gadgets Portal Play where I show this type of games and applications so check that out. Now let's check the recorded game. Well the video quality seems quite decent, not bad at all and the audio quality is also as expected. Now if you have sensitive data on your phone and you want to keep them hidden, just click on more and move to private. This private mode password is completely different from unlocking password. Now the image is gone and if you swipe down the notification center, you will find the private mode. To access the hidden content, you need to enable this and you can hide gallery images, music and voice recorder files, documents and S-Note data. So indeed a very handy tool for your personal stuff. Once again if you select more you are also getting another option called move to Nox. Samsung Minox is one of my favorite features on Samsung devices. Let's talk about it. It's somewhat like the private mode but this is basically creating a separate hidden profile on your device. The Nox has been allocated some isolated space and you are basically maintaining two profiles on your device. This Minox application needs to be downloaded and you will find this app on the Play Store. 
Minox have all the system applications and some third party apps you have allowed. Anything you do to these applications won't affect the main applications and you need to even log in to a Google account to access the Play Store. It's somewhat like a phone within a phone. You can maintain a secret profile and keep your work and personal life separate. You can lock Minox anytime and I need to also mention here your Minox files are highly secured. Now the standout feature of this S7 Edge is this Edge screen and it not only makes the phone more beautiful, there is an Edge screen here. Now you already know this stuff and I want to show you that you can put your data uses, your RAM uses and most importantly my places which is the thing I'm gonna talk about now. First of all you need to put your home and workplace address here. Then if you are at your home, workplace or outside, here you will get some specific options, shortcuts etc. For example, when you are outside, you might need your Uber cab application and when at home, some game apps might show up here. You can also let your family members know you reached workplace safely and your favorite contacts might also pop up here like your boss's number when you are at work. So quite a nice feature you should check. You are also getting apps age, task age, etc. Even you can put a compass here. Now most of these feeds are actually downloaded and just click on this settings icon here and download the age panels you want. There you get the RAM and data uses panels. Some of these are paid. Now some of you might know that there is a one handed input option on this Galaxy S6 Edge because of this huge screen. You also have reduced screen size that is you can shrink the whole display to your right or left by triple tapping the home button. So if you don't need the direct access to grayscale I've shown you before, you can enable this as well. One handed input as you know shrinks the keyboard, dial pad etc. Now there is an interesting feature here. If you switch on high contrast keyboard, your keyboard will be colorful and you are also getting all the smart Samsung keyboard features. So if you wish you can keep it. One of the main reasons to upgrade to Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge is the camera and this time you can save the images as raw files as well. You need to switch to pro mode and as you know raw files are actually uncompressed images which are easier to post process without losing the image quality. As you know there is an inbuilt video editor on your Galaxy smartphone but the interesting part is you can download an add-on feature, this advanced video editor. There are so many things you can do here. For example, you can apply some really cool effects you will surely love. You can even add live rainfall, snowfall, fog etc. There are some color effects as well. This old film is one of my favorite actually. Some background sound has been added as well. You can make it slow-mo, add text and this video editor can be downloaded from the Galaxy App Store or directly from the Essentials. That is the widget you have on the home screen. Well buddies, we are at the end of this 30 plus hidden tips and tricks video on this Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge. Though I haven't shown you the S7 here, all the features of S7 are present on the S7 Edge. I really hope that you have enjoyed watching this video, even I enjoyed a lot showing you off these awesome features. This new flagship of Samsung is a gem and there are at least 100 more features I can show you on this phone. The tips and tricks series videos I have talked about is on the way. Once they are live on this channel, I will add the link in the description below of this video. So check that out. I also want to mention here, Gadgets Portal is now on Vessel. You can check some early access videos there. Well that's all in this video guys, thanks a lot for watching, keep in touch and don't forget to subscribe.